Hi everyone, my name is Sam Wesley, and I'm the co-founder of a startup called SIVA. We build compression garments with embedded sensors to measure muscle activity. We started right here up at Marquette's campus on the Kohler Center with myself and my co-founder, Andrew Hample. Now, given the right circumstances, I'd push anyone to start their own business. Given the right circumstances. In my few short but impactful years working with startups, I've learned plenty of reasons why building a business is a beautiful thing. If you Google search it, you'll find about 150 different reasons on the first page. But tonight, I want to tell you about the times I didn't want to start a business and the challenges I faced during it. The beginning times were amazing, but very serious for Andy and I. We thrived off every small achievement, working between classes with long nights, typically skipping class to continue working. It was an amazing experience, but not for the faint of heart. The first two months consisted of me cold calling physical therapy clinics to get feedback on a product we hadn't even built. <clears throat> As we moved forward, uh, I learned that it was challenging enough doing these calls, but it was well worth it when we designed our product. So the first lesson I learned is that building a business is not only physically challenge, challenging, but emotionally as well. There's plenty of times where Andy and I wanted to throw in the mm -hmm. towel, but our dedication and perseverance furthered the value of our venture. Now, as we approached the end of our second semester, in spring semester, Andy and I had begun applying for accelerators and challenges, many of which required a video submission. We looked around for some help for it, and finally we found a student who said they were willing to help us, and it would take three days to edit and film our video. So, Three days before our submission deadline, we waited in our office. At 10 p.m., she texted us, letting us know that it had been a bad day and she wouldn't make it in. But she could guarantee it would be done if we met the next day. So, two days before, we waited in our office again. And again, she didn't show up. Now, naively, we believe she was sincere when she said it could all be done the next day and we waited for it. At 10 p.m., 24 hours before our first video submission deadline, she, text, or she stopped responding. Now this was 15 hours before my marketing final and it was crunch time for Andy and I. We, did, we had begun, or I ran out to get a camera as Andy had begun scripting our video. We filmed, scripted, and edited our video all night, only stopping for me to go take my marketing final and come back to continue editing. We finished that video and that video would help us raise over $30,000. The second lesson I've learned is that you'll need to do crazy things in order to survive. Andy and I had no idea the impact this video would have on our business. We only knew that there was a deadline on Friday at 5 p.m. Finally this summer, our team grew to five with the addition of Alex, Trevor, and Nick, three brilliant Marquette engineers that have been vital to our growth. We had designed and built a full prototype, and it was the day before our demo. Everyone arrived at the office as early as possible, and we worked out every kink with our presentation and product. We knew exactly what we'd say, who would say it, when we'd say it, and how the presentation would look. I left the office at 3 a.m. so I could be up at 6 and still look presentable in the morning. Andy left shortly thereafter, and Nick, Trevor, and Alex stayed to work on some final touches to our prototype. Now at 5 a.m., in a 20-minute span, four hours before our first demo, Two tiny wires crossed, causing a short, which fried not only our prototype, but our backup as well. So in a matter of 20 minutes, the work we had spent months creating was reduced to a small trail of smoke spiraling up from a circuit board. The final lesson I've learned is that there's no precaution you can take for the unexpected. Throughout the whole process, we believed that we were ready and been proven wrong. But our dedication has proven valuable through our results. Now, my lessons aren't meant to discourage you from starting a business, but instead are meant to show you that the circumstances may never be right. I've had an amazing experience with SIVA, but we would be nowhere if we waited for perfect circumstances. So, don't wait for the perfect circumstances, but go out there and make them. Thank you.